but uh, we're starting with uh, MP Morantz, please. Thank you, I'm uh, sure. Uh, Minister, how much has the government collected in carbon taxes since you implemented it? I didn't hear the last question. The how last part the of the question. has the government collected in carbon taxes since it, since it was implemented? Um, so, thanks for the question, and it gives me an opportunity to be really clear about the price on pollution. This is revenue neutral. All Sorry, the Minister, money that is pretty, collected, it was a pretty specific all the money question. that is uh, just collected, the number. How goes much have, back directly to Canadians. I only have limited that time, is Minister. The key point. How much? How much has your government collected in carbon taxes? Also, an opportunity for me to point out that Manitoba families will be getting one thousand two hundred dollars this year. Again, Minister, if I could just have the number, how much have you collected in carbon taxes? The key point which Conservatives consistently are trying to keep from Canadians is that the price on pollution is completely Again, revenue neutral. Minister, it's the a very money does question. not go Canadians in. Want the, answer the money to. What is, does not go into what, general sorry, revenues. It is I'm returned sorry, to Canadians. What is the dollar value of all carbon taxes collected since the tax was implemented? The key point is that is money in the pockets of Canadians for Manitoba families this year. It's going to be $1,200. That is making a real difference. Just the number, Minister. How much has the government actually collected in carbon taxes? As I said, the key point is it's all money that goes back to Canadians. It goes back to your constituents, okay. my constituents, with, Daniel's yeah. constituents. With the, with the greatest of respect, it's Mr. not revenue Halland's neutral. In fact, the it estimates. Is no, the Minister, the estimates say that. You refuse to answer, giving accurate information, Minister. The government's own financial documents, your main estimate, show that you've collected $20.7 billion in carbon taxes and, and has only paid out $18.6 billion since the carbon tax took effect. Oh, your government has collected over $2 billion out of the pockets of Canadians since the tax was implemented that you have not paid back. That's from your own main estimate. So will that, you correct the record that, and Mr. admit Moran's, the truth? No, it is 100 percent revenue neutral. And I'm are you glad saying the main I'm, estimates are wrong? I am saying that that is money that is being held for small businesses, and small businesses will have good news soon because that money is going to be returned to them, as we have committed to from day one. Okay. You know, you mentioned that that's, Premier... That, that, that's uh, just true. Much? And I do okay. want to thank Winnipeg's Sorry, own it's, Dan it's, Kelly for the work that he's been doing yeah. with well, us Dan, on that. Dan Kelly completely disagrees with you. But aside from that, you mentioned what a great job Premier Canoe is doing. You know, Premier Canoe, when he got elected, um, and he's an NDP Premier, we disagree on many, many things, but he um, recognized that Manitobans are suffering with the high cost of living. You know the very first thing that he did when he got into office? He cut the provincial gas tax by 14 cents. And he said it's because Manitobans are having trouble affording, affording just to live. Why are you increasing the carbon tax at the very time Canadians are experiencing an affordability crisis, unlike what Premier Canoe has done? Um, so there's a lot we disagree on, but I'm glad we can agree that Premier Canoe is off to an excellent start as so the leader of So will you follow his example Manitoba. then and pause the increase in the carbon tax? One of the things I admire about his leadership is his commitment to a climate plan for Manitoba because he knows that that is an essential foundation of but why attracting you investment his example and good and jobs actually in Manitoba. Take the jackboots off the necks of Canadians. I must say that that language is entirely inappropriate when we're talking about a democracy. Well, we, 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 I, I began by talking about Prime Minister Mulroney and the exceptional courage he showed in recognizing Ukrainian independence. There are, you know, there are people in the world right now who do have real dictatorships oppressing them, like the people of mm. Ukraine. And to use that language, talking about a government policy you disagree with, is entirely inappropriate and cheapens our discourse and our democracy. There are seven premiers who have uh, now called on you, representing close to 25 million Canadians, who are asking you to stop this tax increase. Premier Ford has also reduced the gas tax in Ontario. Why are you increasing taxes on Canadians at the very time they need a break? Let's be very clear. Um, and your line of questioning actually helps to highlight this. 
the price on pollution is revenue neutral. Every it's single not. penny. According yes, According to is. your main estimates, it is Every not. single penny goes back to Canadians, and the $2 billion that you have highlighted, that is money for Canada's small businesses, and Canada's well, been small waiting businesses six years for it, will be getting small businesses. that money back, and I look forward when? to announcement what in date? due course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Morantz, 